Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of today's video, IG designed my set. So not that long ago I did a poll on my Instagram asking my followers how to design my set. And here is what we got. So for the shape, 77% selected coffin and they're, they are already pre-shaped so I don't have to worry about that. 84% wanted long. Now this is long for me, not necessarily your length or, or what you consider long. It's long for me, so that's that's my long length, and I'm sticking to it. Um, for the color, they selected purple. Green is my favorite color, and I was kind of like, mm, but purple is beautiful as well. And I had just gotten a lot of purple acrylic, so I'm kind of excited. Um, I was kind of excited when I got the 67% for purple. So that's the color we're using today. And people said glitter. 90% 90, 90 said glitter. Who doesn't love glitter? Okay, I'm a glitterholic. I have so many glitter jars. And I was excited about this as well. So 90% selected, yes, on glitter. Crystals, people love the blingage. I got 71% for a lot. So you'll see later in the video what I add. And 84% wanted that glossy, glossy, shiny top coat. So I, you will see later in the video that I use the glossy top coat. So we're gonna go ahead and just get right into uh, application. What I'm doing here, all the nails are prepped primed all that so i'm just doing here is a thin layer of mia secret clear uh, a powder um a clear layer on my nails to go ahead and just protect them from the glitter staining anything like that every set that i do i always do a thin layer of clear so it's no different when i do my set so that's what i'm doing here just a thin thin layer of clear on every nail that has been prepped and primed and for um dehydrate i use my opi bond aid and i use my no lift nails on this set so here i'm using a glitter from my <coughs> excuse me from my arteza collection i will be doing a haul video because i did get a couple things from arteza um and this glitter is one of them and as you can see in the video i'm kind of just doing a diagonal kind of thing um and i do speed it up because <coughs> excuse me um, you know, just wanted to go ahead and show kind of like the application. So I'm kind of doing like a side kind of uh, glitter fade in a sense. So as you can see, that's what happened there. So I'm just kind of pulling it down a little bit, um, but I'm not necessarily covering the whole nail. And you'll see at the end kind of what it looks like once everything is done. Now, let me just apologize. I do have my fan on in the background. So if you hear any wind or anything like that, that's exactly what's going on. My fan is on. So... Um, and as you can see, I kind of just went ahead and did the clear on here just to get it done, to get it encapsulated because well, I would have gone back towards the end and encapsulated it. And in the, later in the video, you will see that I do go back and encapsulate all the nails because um, when you file, we don't want to file into the glitter or the powder. We just want to go ahead and get that shape with the clear. We don't want to take anything away from the design, okay? And here I'm just using my uh, number 10 Oval Kalinske. Now I'm using my KC Pro Pro Pearl Powder um, in the number 48. <clears throat> and I'm going to be doing an ombre here. So I'm just bringing the color halfway down or halfway up my nail and kind of dragging the color towards the end and <clears throat> just creating that ombre. So if you know how to do ombre, um, you just, you know create your own break everyone has their own way this is just how i do mine so you'll see uh, kind of towards the end how the finished product looks and then i'm using my tammy taylor nail powder uh in p3 this is the most beautiful pink powder ever other than the nail god studios nail god is pink which i'm actually I'm absolutely obsessed with i absolutely love p3 um i think this is like my second or third jar of p3 um absolutely love it <clears throat> So here I'm just kind of putting it above the purple and dragging it down to create that ombre. Getting close to the cuticle but not touching it and just, just dragging it down to give you that beautiful blend of a nail. And again to each his own, however you do your ombre, you just want to go ahead and do it to complete to get to that desired blend on your nail. So you'll see a little clip is coming and you can see that blend is gorgeous. So I'm using my KC Pro Pro Powder in the number 34. 
um <clears throat> and these powders will be in a haul video coming soon so you guys can see they all they look similar but i promise they're not the same color so on here i'm starting at the cuticle and putting a bead and i'm just going to be dragging it down lightly because i want to kind of give it a lighter touch at the tip so it kind of looks like um see-through at the tip kind of blending from like opaque to kind of like uh transparent at the tip um if you yeah so like kind of like see-through so i'm not necessarily you know filling the whole nail with purple i'm just kind of doing a drag down and then at the end i'll be encapsulating it in clear as well and you'll see it kind of gives it a see-through finish at the top so i have my p3 um tammy taylor same thing starting at the cuticle dragging down lightly because i want to give the tip kind of a kind of like see-through kind of vibe like an ombre going from that deep pink to like clear kind of yeah and everything will like i said everything will be encapsulated i got a little bit of glitter in there and that's fine i put stones on the nail towards the end so you can't even notice it <clears throat> okay and then for the pinky i'm going in with my mia secret monomer and my mia secret clear <clears throat> and getting that uh, glitter from arteza it has like um uh, like stars and hexagons in it and everything so i absolutely love this so i kind of just get it did it diagonal there as well and as you can see the next step is just to encapsulate your nails this is this is covering the glitter covering the ombre because when you file you don't want to lose any of that in the process so this you know once we're filing reshaping you know redefining that shape we're just touching the clear we're not touching you know the glitter the uh, colored acrylic or anything like that so we're just kind of encapsulating and again i speed up this video because by the end of the time i'm recording this video it's like over an hour and i don't want you guys to have to go through watching an hour of you know encapsulating filing anything like that but if you would like a video with everything i can do like a real-time video if that's something you guys are interested in so that is the finished look after um encapsulating so here i am scoring my files every time you use a fresh file please score it you don't want to cut your customer because they can be sharp on the edges so i always score brand new files every time it happens or every time I start with a new client. So here we are just going ahead and, you know, pulling that shape back, redefining that coffin because, you know, everybody wanted the coffin. So we're just redefining that shape. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and then I'm getting my safety bit, my carbide safety bit in, I believe this is medium. <coughs> I believe this is medium grit. So I'm kind of just like starting, and I apologize about the light. The light, the lighting kept changing on the video. Um, like, I don't know what happened. I have to figure it out. But yeah, so I'm taking that at the cuticle, cuticle. I cannot talk today, and kind of like pulling it side, side to side down the nail. And then the next drill bit I'm going to be using is my tapered bit, and I believe this is medium as well. This is to kind of get closer to that cuticle blend the nail kind of make it look like it's your natural nail kind of growing not an enhancement um so yeah i just get close to the cuticle area and kind of like blend that so it looks flush and bring it down the nail just to get any last minute bumps and lumps to kind of smooth it down okay <clears throat> and again this is how i file not necessarily how you have to file but this is just how i do it so again you know however you file whatever drill bits you use just to get to that desired look that's what we're doing here so i have my 100 180 orange slim buffer and i'm just buffing out that nail to get rid of any bumps and lumps and then i have my nsa nas 99 from opi it's pretty much just alcohol i'm just spraying my hand to go ahead and get off any dust debris anything like that and i have my fantasy no lint uh, uh lint free wipes so here is my Derice 21 compartment um, storage thing. It's made for beads and like organization, but I use it for my stones or nail art. So as you can see, uh, um, 
yeah so i mean i just did a purchase and i did record a video for sky beats online so i do have stones to replenish and fill up my things i just didn't do it in this video because i didn't have my stones yet but i do have a sky beats online uh video haul for some blingage coming up so definitely keep an eye out for that so i'm gonna using my mia secret brush on clear nail gel resin and my bernie's bling thing these are like a match made in heaven and i'm just blinging out my nails just using some i think i use like a kite i use a teardrop i use some rhinestones that are uh some amethyst rhinestones um and these were all purchased from sky beads online as well i absolutely love them they are amazing um so definitely check them out and again there's a video coming soon so you guys can check out what i bought and you know check them out you know from there and as you can see i'm putting my kite stone there and i kind of just like winged it i just looked at what i had and kind of just created the design you guys wanted a lot of bling i don't wear a lot of bling personally but i had to do it for the video because ig designed my set so i'm just going with the with the purple kind of well obviously the purple scheme with stones because uh the color choice that was picked was purple so i'm just kind of just going around the cuticle with some purple um crystals and then i have some crystal ab's that are kind of going under them and then i'll add a teardrop or raindrop stone there as well all right and just i'm just pushing them into place before i use my nail glue dryer which will set everything in place and what i'm using is the hurry up nail glue dryer absolutely love this stuff um and you just you know six six to i think eight to ten inches away from your hand just spray it now i'm using my dnd non-white top coat i absolutely love this top coat and i'm just you know putting it on the nails and i have my sun uv lamp i absolutely love this lamp i need to get another one but this is a great lamp for the price so i will go ahead and link um, that down below I purchased it from Amazon so you guys can go ahead and check that out and as you can see the ones that were um, kind of transparent on the behind on the back I did go ahead and put gel there as well so for like the pink one the purple one and the pinky and the thumb I went ahead and put some um, top coat on the back so it'll give you that shine and also make it look a little bit more see-through once you know you get your hand out of the dryer or your nail lamp so next, <clears throat> I am going to go in with my Nails by Tanisha Cuticle Oil, and that shine is just, those stones are insane. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub these, rub this around my cuticle. And that is the end of the video. I absolutely had so much fun doing this, letting IG design my set. I hope you guys liked this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.